That plane is supersonic. How fast do you think that is? In this video, we'll look at the speed of some everyday items. You should already know that speed is a measure of the distance an object travels in a certain time, and that is calculated using this equation, which can also be remembered by using a formula triangle. If you haven't calculated speeds before, watch this video first. These two people are standing 990 meters apart. When the person speaks, there is a three second delay before the second person hears the words. How fast is sound traveling? Pause the video and work it out. With a distance of 990 meters and a time of three seconds, the speed of sound in air is 330 meters per second. This is a rough approximation for the speed of sound if the air temperature is 0 degrees Celsius. If the air is warmer, sound travels faster. Let's add in a kilometers per hour to give better context. Passenger planes fly about 900 to 1,000 kilometers per hour, slower than the speed of sound. Is it possible to fly faster than the speed of sound? Yes, some fighter jets can. Going faster than the speed of sound is called supersonic speeds. You won't hear the jets until they've already passed over your head, because the sound is actually slower and traveling behind them. On the ground, the sound waves are heard as a sonic boom. So that's sound and passenger jets. How fast is light in comparison? Have you ever wondered why you see the flash of lightning before you hear the rumble of thunder? This is because the speed of light is much, much faster than the speed of sound. The thunder and lightning both come from the same source and occur at the same time. However, light travels at just under 300 million meters per second, whereas sound travels at a measly 330 meters per second. Next time you see lightning, Count how many seconds before you hear the thunder. This tells you roughly how far away the lightning is. If you're a kilometers person, remember three seconds for one kilometer. And if you're a miles person, remember five seconds for one mile. Now let's slow it down a lot. How fast do we walk, run and cycle? Wow, compare that to planes, sound and light. Again, let's add in kilometers per hour because often those speeds are much easier to imagine. What do you think makes some days feel windier than others? It's the speed of the wind. Air is always moving, but the faster it moves, the windier it feels. A gentle breeze moves at 3.5 to 5.5 meters per second, faster than we run. On a windy day, it gets up to about 14 meters per second. The highest wind speed ever recorded was 135 meters per second in a tornado in America. Although not as fast as a commercial plane, Tornadoes can cause some serious destruction. They can destroy buildings, uproot trees, and hurl vehicles hundreds of meters. So there we have speeds of some very different everyday things. Whilst we can't go as fast as light, we can sure go faster than the speed of sound. 